Here we're told to multiply a squared times a squared. And the answer is simply a to the power of 4, or a to the fourth. The rule here says this. When you're multiplying two exponents, and that's what we're doing, we have two exponents, and we're multiplying them together. And the two exponents have the same base. In this case, they're both base a. When you're multiplying exponents with the same base, you just add up the exponents. So the 2 and the 2 add up to give us the 4. You can see why this is the case if you expand this. a squared is a times a. And then the other a squared is a times a. So we have a squared times a squared. And you can see that this is a multiplied by itself with a total of four factors. And that's a to the fourth. This same concept would apply even if the exponents weren't the same. For example, I could have a squared times a cubed. And this would equal a to the fifth. And again, you can see why if you expand it. a squared right here is a times a. And the a cubed right there is a times a times a. So we have a squared times a cubed. And you can clearly see that's five a's multiplied together. So it's a to the fifth. So again, the rule is when you're multiplying two exponents together that have the same base, you add the exponents.